Hello everyone! Hi everyone and welcome to this episode. So now we are on our way to Croatia. 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 <laughs> so in a few seconds we're going to cross a little bridge and then we are already in Croatia. Our first time in Croatia as member of the Schengen area. Yes. There are still all the fences, you can see it here on the sides, there's still a lot of fences. And now you can just enter without control. And we are here. Yay! So this is where we slept at night. Not that bad, right? So we arrived again super late, around 10 p.m. So it was super dark already. So we could not really see how beautiful all of this is. But we found a place as well in Park for Night. And it was a bit difficult to find because you have to actually go down the normal road and then you have this gravel road here and then you arrive and it's amazing it's like a I think they have like a sports club or something down here where they have now a barbecue and you can have dinner here or breakfast and just chill and it's, it's really nice so we're very lucky that we found this place we were completely alone there's the train passing by, but it was just like twice a night, so nothing. <laughs> and yeah, now we're getting ready to make our way to Sada. So we just got coffee, as you can see here. Two euros, two Americanos. Two euros for coffee. And we're at this very nice, well, it's actually a restaurant. It looks like a trout restaurant. I think they have their own trout, or they are fishing trout here in, in the, the river. And it's, it looks like a beer garden, so we just got coffee. It looks super nice. And I'm just gonna sit here and and have this beautiful view with our coffee. So now we're on day three of our road trip. Road trip! So we just woke up in Croatia on the border, right at the border actually. And now we're making our way to Sadar. First stop for we just made a quick coffee stop in Ogulin. Ogulin? Really she cute town. Exactly the same. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Baby. A really cute town with a castle again, a church, a park, typical. But very nice. And now we are heading to the Paklenica National Park. We're going to do a hike there. 
Mm, it will take us around two hours drive. See you there. So we just made a quick toilet and uh, coffee stuff. Here we've got some eight toilets and uh, coffee machines, self-service. And we cleaned a little bit our windshield because we killed like thousands of bucks on the highway, unfortunately. Now it's clean and ready to go. so it would be like 5 euros 30 per person um, but they're only working from 6 to 1 30 so there's no one there that way we could pay so yeah we will just I think <laughs> go on a bit of pain sorry for that but if there's no one we cannot pay but as you can see there are also other people so yeah that's it maybe this is helpful for anyone who knows But probably we missed the path so after all the <laughs> bouldering. We saw here a little path that should be the correct path. So this is probably the most difficult part. Um, here on this side it doesn't look that bad. But on the other side there is no rock that you can go down so you need to take the rope to go down. And you have to be very careful because here it goes pretty far down. Yay! There's nothing I can say about, but they actually even left us a hair dryer. I have my own with me, but I think it's always a very nice gesture. This is the living room and also the kitchen. So this is where we're gonna work the next week. Um, and here we have the kitchen, which is with a dishwasher. Um, here you have the fridge, so I think we have everything we need. He even said that the water is able to drink, it's good to drink. There's no coffee machine and we didn't bring ours, so that's a bit sad. But they left us instant coffee, which is okay. And then we go to our next room, which is the bedroom. Have you tried it already, Pipe? Yeah, someone killed the bed. Yeah, he almost already killed it all. <laughs> I think it's completely new. It looks super new, everything in here. So we're pretty happy with it. Let's see how the 
first night sleep is gonna be. After arriving in Sada, we treated ourselves very well with really good food. After a very okay, after a long weekend, driving through Austria and Slovenia. Yes, we finally arrived to Sada, and uh, we were we were basically working the whole day. Also because it was raining, so it finally stopped raining at 7 p.m. So we decided to go out and explore the city a little bit. the sound or the music made from the sea organ it's really interesting the sound right yes <laughs> I didn't know that it, it exists here so he just brought me for the sunset and then he was like are you listening to this music can you hear it and then he explained that it's a sea organ that is very special I never saw one before and they really liked it what do you think yeah it's really cool so the sound is only made by the waves pushing the air into the hose. Really cool concept. Hi everyone. So today we're going to visit Sada. So we already went here, but it was already very late and it was a very rainy day. We were very unlucky with the last two days here in Croatia. It was raining the, the whole day basically. But today we went to visit. And we will take you with us. So, what did we get for food? We got cheese puree mm -hmm. and a Mexican roll. Okay, so who decided to get the Mexican roll? Yeah. Me. <laughs> So yesterday we already had the spinach and cheese one, so today we want to try something else, right? Yep. Fusion cuisine. <laughs> it's not very typical for it. Big Croatia, big Croatia. And I just like it. Choppy choppy. So Lee, can you tell us a little bit more about Sada? Of course. It's a little city on the uh, eastern coast of the Adriatic Sea. It's the fifth largest. Yes. It's the fifth. It's the fifth largest city of Croatia. It has actually only seventy-five thousand uh, inhabitants, which is pretty small actually. Uh, the whole country has only less than 4 million inhabitants, small country. And so the most famous landmarks are the cathedral of Santa Anastasia, the St. John Atlas church, and the Roman Forum, which is just here in front of us. Thank you very much. And you know what? There's tons of Germans in the city, and I think in whole Croatia. And it's funny because our landlord our landlord, he's actually, um, he's Croatian, but he doesn't speak English, but he does speak German. So this is how we communicate. I think it's, you have more chance that you can communicate with people around here in German than in English. I think it's pretty common in the Balkans, that German is really common here. I think it's very funny. And also, 
um, a lot of com um, new stores are opening up here or have been opening up in the, in the past so I can see now so many German stores all around so of course you have Lidl and Aldi which have the two most famous supermarkets from Germany then you have drug stores like JM and Müller you find also stores that you actually well I have never seen them outside of Germany and but now with doing the route I've seen them in Slovenia and now in Croatia as well so let's see whether I can find them as well in Greece Germany is conquering the whole Europe yes and I love the supermarkets because they're cheap and good it with this bridge I think it's very handy so you don't have to go around the whole way and it makes a lot of sense as well what do you think yes <laughs> okay. so we just went to a print shop because we need to get our insurance for the car printed out because in Montenegro it is possible that they will make us any trouble when we want to cross the border, right? Yeah, all printed out, just in case. You, it used to be a, on a green paper and not anymore. Actually, we could have it just on PDF files, but just in case we printed it. So the prices are pretty good so far. A normal coffee you will pay 150 and before that it was like 11.30 kuna I'm most probably gonna get a cappuccino for two euros yeah super good and I also bought myself a chocolate pistachio tart what do you think about this? sounds good <laughs> to a beach and there's just one beach right next to Zadar so we're just walk, gonna walk around here a little bit and see how, how the beaches are because it's actually my first beach in Croatia Cheers. <laughs> oh yeah and we're snacking because we actually didn't eat a lot today <laughs> so that's it for today's episode. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Subscribe to our channel. And follow us on Instagram. And hit the notification bell. <laughs> See you next week. See you next week. Tschüss.
ciao and goodbye. Tschüssi, tschüssi. Thank you.